Working together, the RNA, the Masters Tournament and the United States Golf Association have announced the formation of the Latin America Amateur Championship. Beginning in 2015, it's a new amateur golf event aimed at inspiring even greater interest in the game through the region. The Masters Tournament, the RNA and the USGA, all three organizations have had a long commitment to the amateur game, to growing the game, to nurturing it, to teaching traditions, uh, values, and I think this is just an extension of that. I think it's terrific that uh, major championship organizers, ourselves, the Masters Tournament and, and the United States Golf Association have come together here. Uh, we've been running the, uh, along with the Masters, the Asia Pacific Championship for five years now. And this is a, a mirror of that event and it's wonderful to have the USGA alongside us here. Um, and it's exactly what major championship organizers should be doing, using the success of, of, of our events to put back into the game and encourage its growth. I think developing golf is a learning experience. Uh, they've been at it 250 years, we've been at it 75 years, the USGA 100 and something years. So. Together, we're quite a strong collective force in the game of golf, and, and I think we learn from each other. Um, and so as we've gone about the Asian Amateur, now here with the Latin American Championship, joining our resources and our efforts to develop the game. The founding partners, with cooperation from the Argentina Golf Association, the 2015 host, will support all aspects in the organization and staging of the event. We have a long association with, with South America in particular and I think the new Latin American uh, Amateur Championship will give uh, South American golfers and, and golfers from other parts of the region a real boost and further connect uh, this region with the rest of the golfing world. We've already had great strength in golf for, from South America in particular, we've had winners of major championships. Roberto Di Vincenzo, Angel Cabrera, and so on. And uh, it's not that uh, we haven't had great golfers come from this part of the world, but we need more, and I think this will build on some already strong foundation. Argentina has such a long and rich golf history that dates, you know, well over a century back that I thought it was, you know, we all thought it was very appropriate that it host uh, the first playing of this championship, and specifically to Pilar Golf. Um, you know, this is a golf course that's hosted two Argentina Opens. It's hosted other national championships here in, in Argentina. And it really has a, uh, you know, a, in a very short period of time, it's grown a rich history and it really will prove to be a wonderful test for Latin America's best amateurs. The champion of the inaugural event will earn a spot at the Masters. The champion and the runner-up will be exempt into the final stages of qualifying for the US Open, and the champion will be fully exempt into the US Amateur Championship. The RNA is offering a similar opportunity. Well, the winner of the event will receive an exemption into the Amateur Championship back, back in the UK, and the winner and the runner-up will, will have an exemption into the final qualifying stage for the Open Championship. Of course, the first year of the Latin America Amateur is 2015 and the Open Championship is at the home of golf at St Andrews that year. So it, it's quite an incentive for these, these young people. To be able to play at Augusta National during the Masters, in the case of these kids, both in Asia and now here in Latin America, to, to play with their heroes. I mean, what a great opportunity and one that not only benefits them, but all the other kids who are watching, that's what's really important.